Hey you, it's Billif here, and today I'm back with the 20th episode of my Barrack Row mode on FIFA 21. And before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I've hit it so quickly, and I can't believe how quick I've actually hit it, so thank you for that. As well as that, I just want to say I'm sorry that I've not uploaded much in the last week, but I've been having some internet issues, and it was my birthday last week, so I've sort of been taking a little bit of time off this week while I've had the internet issues. I thought it was a good time for that. Just time to take a bit of a break around my birthday, but I'm done with that now. I'm back on the grind. So, let's get going with this episode, and the first game of the episode is against Lincoln, who are in sixth place, so it is going to be a difficult game. This is the team I'm going with. It is my first team. Vaquero, no, not Vaquero. McKinnon is a little bit tired, but hopefully we'll be able to see the game out. So let's go straight into it. Lincoln have pressed me quite high there. Which gives me a bit more space to get into the attack here. Chance to play it through to Vaquero here. Got it through to him. Might have been offside, but he wasn't. That's back to Barcola there, and it wasn't meant to be back to Barcola. But not a bad effort, though. Oh, no, that's got through there. Lincoln have put us, uh, Lincoln have put us 1-0 up. Nope, Lincoln have put themselves 1-0 up. And... It is a ball that I should have dealt better with. It went through and I was switching between centre-backs and neither of them could get to it, to be honest. I think switching between them probably hindered me from getting to it. Okay, they've had the shot from the edge of the box there, but it was never really troubling Barbaris. Lincoln are pressing me quite high here, so if I can get in behind the press like this, then I might be able to get on the counter or something. Good. Clip it through to McKinnon there. It's a good ball. McKinnon's just got to hold it up here. Go back to Freeze. Over to Diodi here, back into Freese here. Just look for an option now. Like for Caro. Sort of chance has gone really from what I had, but Hargis can go through here. Hargis got the ball in the box, it's going to have that shot, it's going to get blocked, but it's dropped back to Freese. And he's put it over the bar. See Hargis making that run, going to clip it over to him. Not the best ball, but he has got him behind here. He's going to run inside. Good play from Hargis, back to Barcola here. Over to Freese, Diodi's making that run on the overlap, going to get it to him. Going to put a ball in to the back post. Hargis has got his head to it. I think it's Vaquero actually. And the keeper makes a good save. Hargis making a run down the left here. Go up to him. I'm going to try and get him to run into the channel. Got men in the box. So I'm going to put a ball in. It's a decent ball. It's been headed behind for a corner. Going to try and get it to the back post. That's where my tall guy is. It's not gone to him. But Court is going to get his head to it. And the keeper has clawed it out from underneath him. And that is half time, and Lincoln are fortunate to be ahead, I think. They've had one chance and scored it, and we have had quite a few chances. And we've definitely been the better team, so we keep plugging away. I think the goal is coming here. Court makes a good tackle there. Good try and get on a counter. Vaquero running through. Vaquero is on side. He's got a one on one with the keeper here. Gonna have that shot. It's gone straight to the keeper. Can I get to the rebound? Is it gonna go in? Oh, the keeper's just clawed it out. I think it was going wide anyway, but I've still got a chance here. Got to Barcola. Back to Freese. To Barcola again. Going to have the shot from the edge of the box. It's been blocked. I really should have scored that chance with Vaquero there. We're keeping the pressure on. Got it down to Freese on the wing. It's quite wide. Going to put a cross in though. And let's hit the bar. Can I get to that? No, I can't. Putting on a lot of pressure here. Into McKinnon here. Back to Vaquero. I saw Freese running through. Going to get it to him. He might have been offside. He was offside there. It's unlucky because it was a good ball from Vaquero there. But I thought Freese was offside. I tell you what, that is very close because of the fullback playing him almost onside. Oh my god, that actually went in. I did not expect the ball to go in from that angle. That is so against the run of play. That's their second chance of the game and they've scored it. That The ball never should have gone into the net from that angle. They did play it around me. It was some nice play to get in that position, but... From that angle, Barbaris, you've got to say, Barbaris has to do better. The ball should never go into the net from this angle. That is ridiculous. That's offside, surely. It's a good save from Barbaris. Wasn't offside. Get to freeze down the line here. Not a great ball because it went a bit inside, but can work with it. Can play it through to Vaquero here. Another chance to score and he's missed it. That's an awful finish from Vaquero. I really need to train up his finishing. So he's had a few chances so far in these first two episodes of the season. And he's only scored one of them. And two of them have been one-on-ones, which he really should have scored. And that should have at least put on target. That's going to be three, isn't it? Oh, no. Barbaris makes a save there. Freese is on the run down the right here. Got three men on one here. So if I can do the right thing here, like play it back to Rude and then into Hargis. Hargis has that shot. He was offside anyway, but how did he hit the bar? I'd, I'd said I need to do the right thing there, and I did everything wrong. What is this angle? But when I played it back to Rude, I meant to play it to McKinnon. I didn't mean to play it to Rude, so I guess the game messed me up a little bit there. But how have not scored in this game? 
Gonna have the shot with McKinnon from the edge of the box here. It's gonna miss. And that will be full time. And that is a 2-0 loss to Lincoln, which I think is quite unfortunate because I had so many chances in that game and I was definitely the better team. I think it was just one of them days where it's just unfortunate to lose, really. Right now we've got the second game of the episode here against Barnsley, who will be another team that have just been relegated from the championship, like Luton. So this is going to be another tough game here. Going with the same team as last time out, even though McKinnon is a bit tired. But we did play well last time out, just didn't have our shooting boots. So if we get our shooting boots on today, hopefully we can get a decent result. Oh no, that's not good. That was a big mistake. I tried to play it out with Pavlov and just lingered on the ball for too long and they've made the interception. And to be honest... That was completely my fault. Got a good position in the box there. Barbaris makes a save and puts it out for a corner. Slip it down the line to Hardjo's here. That's a good ball. He's got him behind the defender. Going to look for a pullback, which is McKinnon. It's going to spin the defender, have the shot straight at the keeper. Right, that is half time. That is 1-0 to Barnsley. And it probably is fair at the end of the first half, but their goal was a gift. But I've had the ball in their box a few times. Only really had one chance, but I think if I keep going, I could score. Oh my God, I've given the ball right away there. And it's 2-0 to Barnsley. It's another mistake from Pavlov. Tried to pass the ball into midfield and then he just intercepted it and that is 2-0 now. See Fries in a lot of space there. It's gone to Roberts instead. Fries has got the ball here though. Dodie's making the run on the outside. It's a good ball to him. Put it to Rude in the box. Rude heads it. And Rude has got a goal back for us. It's a good header from him. And he's not going to pick the ball up. But that is now 2-1 to Barnsley. And we are back in this game here. I just brought Rude on in place of Vaquero. And he's made an instant impact there. Good ball from Dodie. And a good header across the keeper from Rude. And that is 2-1 now. I think I'm just going to be able to get past the defender. But I'm not going to try it. Going to run it inside. Pass it into Rude here. Slip it through to Roberts. Roberts got a chance to level the game. And Roberts does that. It is now 2 all, And within 10 minutes, it's gone from 2-0 to 2 all here. Roberts levels the game. My two substitutes doing the work for me. I took off for Kara and McKinnon because neither of them played very well today. And they're both tired. Bought on Rude. Bought on Roberts. And they have done the job for me. Rude getting a goal and an assist. And then Roberts getting a goal here. Not a great finish, but it doesn't matter. It is in the back of the net, and that is 2 all now. And the keeper, you've got to say, he has to do better. Slip the ball down line to Freese here, and Freese has got chance to, he's got space to run into. He's going to bring it inside. Hardest is open. That's not a great ball to him. But he's going to get to it. He's going to bring it back inside here. Play it back to Freese on the edge of the box. Roberts is on side. Roberts is going to shoot, and he's going to put it over the bar. Ref, can you blow the whistle, please? Thank you. That is full time. And we do get a 2 all draw, which is completely deserved. Barnsley did play well, but their two goals were gifts, to be fair. But we also played well, and we definitely deserved a point at least out of that game. And my two subs coming on, helping the comeback, and helping us get the draw. Right, now we've got our three scout reports here for this month. So let's take a look at these. The first one is Algeria, and he's not very good. But that was my one-star, one-star scout. So hopefully these next two reports will be better. The one from Japan here. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. I'm going to reject him, but Kaito Konoshita, I'm going to sign him up because he looks like he could be decent. Now this third report from Colombia, and already you get someone with a decent potential here. So hopefully I can do even better than that. Okay, I'm going to reject him, reject him, and reject him. And then I've got these two players here. He looks pretty decent. I'm definitely going to sign him. Rafael Guerrero. Definitely going to sign him because he's got good overall and good potential already. And this guy, I, even though he's got good potential, I think I'm going to reject him because his overall is quite low. Actually, no, I'll sign him. And if his overall ends up being too low, I'll just, reject, I'll just release him from the academy. Anane Rude has asked to play this game against Hull. And that is something I was thinking about anyway. Vaquero didn't have a good game last time out. I was thinking about bringing in Rude at Cam anyway. So it's something I'm going to do. Right now we've got the third game of the episode here. Against top of the league Hull. So it's going to be another tough game here. And as I had just mentioned... I am bringing in Rude for this game, but that is the only change. So let's hope I can pull off a result against Hull. I'm hoping for a better game from Pavlov here today. I'm hoping he doesn't give the ball away in our third to give away a goal to them. Got a ball in a good position here. They're going to have the shot from the left-hand side of the goal. And there's a good save by Barbaris. That's good play from Hull. And that's a good save from... Uh, Barbaris. But Pavlov, again, giving the ball away and... Hull have scored from it. Oh dear. 
The fans are going to be hating Pavlov at the minute because there's three goals in a row that you conceded that he's just given the ball away. And realistically, it is my fault. But it's just Pavlov every time, though. Got the ball in a good position. Good chance to cross it there. And there's a good save from Barbaris. And it has been cleared. Right. That is half time here. And that is 1-0 to Hull. And it probably shouldn't be 1-0. Neither team should be winning, really. Neither team really deserves it. Should be 0-0, realistically. But I gifted them a goal. It's a good tackle from Court there. Had to time that perfectly to make that, and he did. Right, on Hodges to make the run down the left here. Just going to wait for the right time to play it to him. It's a good ball. And Hargest has got the ball in a good position here. Just going to shoot at the near post. And Hargest has equalised for us. You know what I'm going to say. That is Hargest's speciality. That position on the left edge of the six-yard box. That is where he scores from. And he's done it again. He's not gone across the keeper this time. But he has scored at the near post. And it's a good finish from Hargest. His first goal of the season, I think. And that, sort of out of nothing now, is one all. Got the ball in a good position in the box there. And on the turn, he has the shot. And Barbaris makes a good save. Going to put the ball down the line to my left back here. Play it back inside to Hargest. Not a chance to shoot for him, but Fries is going to have a chance here. It's broke for him again. He's going to have the shot again. It's been blocked by the keeper. And then the follow-up from my left back is very badly skewed wide and over. And that should go wide. And that will be full-time. And that is a one-all draw against Hull. And that is a very good result. I did check the stats at half-time. And Hull actually dominated the first half. And I think they dominated the second half as well. I think I've done a bit of a FIFA on FIFA there. And I've managed to get a result out of a game which I have been comfortably second best in. So I'm very happy with that one-all draw against top-of-the-table Hull. Right now we've got the fourth and final game of the episode here. Against Fleetwood Town in the EFL Trophy. And this is the team I'm going to be going with. It's a bit stronger than my normal second team, but a bit weaker than my first team. But I do want to do well in this competition. So I have bought in some first team players, but I wanted to play both my fullbacks as well for my first team. But they are too tired, so I've got to bring in my backup fullbacks. And the only other players that are really backup players are Conway, Teehee and Roberts. And they're all good enough to be perfectly capable of coming in for the first team players, I think. So hopefully I can get a good result in the AFL Trophy tonight. Fries making a run down the line there. Going to get it to him with Rude. Fries has got the ball in the box here now. He's going to shoot here at the near post. Keeper had saved it. Okay, he's beaten T here in a one-on-one -on -one there. And he's not going to catch up to him. Going to put the ball across and that is 1-0 to Fleetwood. You can see that coming all day. There was a counter-attack from a corner. And I had to win it on the halfway line realistically. And I didn't. And if they got past T here there, they were always going to get the goal if they could just get it into the box. And they did. And that's 1-0 to Fleetwood. See here bringing the ball forward there. Plays a lovely ball into Freese there. Got a chance to level the game straight away. And he does that. Rifling the ball into the top right corner. And now, right after Fleetwood's goal, we have leveled the game here. It's a good ball down the line on the inside from Teehee. Then Freese just runs into the box. Gets close enough to the keeper so he can smash it across him into the top corner. And that is now one all. Get the ball down the line to Bosniak there. Fries was making the run and then he stopped, but I'm just going to play it into him here. Now going to play it into Rude. Has a chance to run into the box. Hargest completely open at the back post. He's going to take a touch, have that shot, and he's missed it. Oh my god, he's absolutely blazed that wide. He's just, he's rushed the volley and he's absolutely just skewed it wide. That is very poor from Hargest. That should be 2 1. Good ball down to Hargest there. Got room to run into. He's got room to slip Roberts through into the box. Chance to score here, one on one, and Roberts has scored just for half time. He makes it 2 1 to Barrow, and that was some nice play there. It's a ball down the line from the left back to Hargest, and the defenders are so far apart, the centre backs are, and it just gives Roberts an easy chance to run straight through the middle, get into the box, and finish that. And that is now 2 1. Right, that is half time, and that is 2 1. After going 1 0 down, we have made the comeback in this first half to put ourselves 2 1 up. We've still got 45 minutes to see this game out here. Oh, that's a good ball into the box there. Chance to play it across, it's going to be 2 all. yep. Not much I can really do about that. See Freese making that run on the right here. Going to cut it back. Just going to have that shot at the near post, it has been blocked. Going to pass it off to Barcola there though, and that has been blocked as well. Into McKinnon here. They're trying to take it round the defenders there. Going to have that shot at the near post. And the keeper has made a good save there. Vaquero can play the ball over to Hargest here. And Hargest has a run in on goal. And he's completely free. He's going to be able to get a shot off here. 
And he has got it off, but the keeper has saved it. Should have done better with that. I saw the keeper coming out, and I should have taken the shot earlier. But I didn't, and I've wasted that chance, and the game is going to end 2 all now. And there we go, it does end. And I should have won it right at the end of the game there, and I didn't. I'm disappointed in myself there. But 2 all with a, probably a weaker team than Fleetwood had. It's not a bad result, I don't think. It's a point on the table. Floating ball there. Uh, it's a point on the table in the EFL Trophy. And now I am at transfer deadline day here. You can see all the players I've bought in on the left. On the right-hand side, that's not all the players I've sold. That's just some of them. You can see I've made 16.8 million from selling all my real players. And there's still a couple more to go. And now with one hour left in deadline day, I have managed to sell all my players other than Jones. But that has made me 17.3 million, which I'm not actually going to spend. I'm going to, if I can figure out how to use the editor properly, I am going to be saving up for something, which will be coming in a few seasons time. I'm saving up money as the seasons go by. And once I reach a certain amount, I will spend all that money I've saved up on something. So you're going to have to wait a while to see what I'm spending that money on. But it is going towards something. Now I've got a monthly youth squad report here. And this is the player which I signed who was really low rated from Colombia, but he has some decent winger stats by the looks of it. So I am going to change him to a winger and I'll see how much it helps his overall. But if it doesn't get him above 50, I'll probably will release him. This is another one of the players I signed and I'm going to actually switch him to a left midfielder instead of a left winger. But this is the guy I signed who had the 50 to 68 overall and he's got 58 overall already, which is really good. But that is the end of this episode. And I think I've done okay this episode because I have had some tough games. I've played three teams teams in the league who are right near the top of the league and i've got two points off them so i don't think that's too bad and next episode we will be starting against 21st place wigan and you'll see in the table they are one place below me so there's a real bottom of the table clash by the looks of it anyway if you enjoyed this episode leave a like if you want to carry on watching this series subscribe and i'll see you in the next one